done. Well, brought some treats for Mama this morning, but I think she's in heat. So. There's Mama. We wanted to talk a little bit this morning about HR 1380, the new number for the bill um, for the big cat and public safety act. And I uh, wanted to focus on Mama because, well, she, previous to, to her rescue, she was um, in a magic show, then went to a facility that bred her at least four times that we uh, know of in a matter of two years or less than. We do have some of the cubs here that were part of that rescue also. But the Big, Pat, Big Cat and Public Safety Act is going to hopefully stop a lot of this. Uh, if it's passed, it will stop cub petting. Photo ops, things like that that you should be aware of uh, when going to a facility and not participating in because what happens to the cubs later is detrimental. So Mama gets to live out her life here at Turpentine Creek and uh, Bosco was reunited with her after the rescue. He was neutered, of course, and uh, now they just get to play and lay around in their habitat. Bosco's over here playing with his ball this morning. I'm gonna go and see if he wants treats. Mama didn't want any. Good morning. What are you doing? Bosco was really aggressive when we rescued him. Kind of scared of a lot of things. So he's done great here. You want that? Oh yeah, treats. Hoping to work him into our uh, training program in the next few weeks to help him even more. Oh, good boy. Good boy. That's good treats, huh? Yeah. Um, so back to HR 1380, you can go to our website, turpentinecreek.org, and uh, be able to email your representative straight from there if you click on the links. It's in the advocacy section of our uh, website, so I encourage everybody to do that. The more emails your representatives get, the more support this bill will have. Good boy, we're going to start working on training for you. Yeah. Oh, it's right here, dude. Right here. Oh, treats. We use these uh, little forceps here to barely hang on to the meat. Definitely don't want to lose your fingers in there. So getting him started into a training would be just this. Used to these, used to that. Um, taking the meat off of him and then we'll start target training him and sit and things like that. So it won't be stressful when your vaccinations come, which is very soon, buddy. Yeah, I know. So they're handling the cold. How are we handling the, oh, the cats? Cause I'm not doing great, but uh, <laughs> it was about 11 degrees this morning. Which is warmer than yesterday, which it was four. Uh, but we're going to be above freezing today. Um, of course, the tigers have a thick winter coat, so they did fine. You could see them on the weekend, even in the snow. Um, oh, good boy. Uh, they were laying upside down, sunning themselves. We didn't see much of the lions. They stayed in their heated dens over the weekend, but... Earlier on in this video, you could hear them all talking. They're out enjoying the sun. Here, buddy. We got two more pieces. Here you go. Oh, good boy. You're going to do great. Good boy, Bosco. All gone. Oh, now we're not chopping. But I gave you trees. 
Oh. <laughs> well, we thank everybody for tuning in. And again, go to our website, get on the advocacy page, and click where it says to click to email your representative and support the Big Cat and Public Safety Act.